All right, folks, uh, Tech Bravo coming to you from the Shed Quarters. Um, I've been reading about doing some images, and I've been using Photograv or whatever that is. And uh, I keep being told and, and urged that uh, Lightburn can do it way better. So here's what I'm going to do. I was reading about this on one of the Lightburn forums, and they were using an image, this one or one similar. Not, not exactly sure. But... Uh, I'll pull this down and uh, let's get it over here where we can see what we're doing and we'll squeeze it into the size. I understand that Christopher Walken stuff is pretty popular, pretty popular. So we're going to put him on some poplar. So here's what I'm going to do first though. I'm going to check my settings. Um, I think I'm, I think that's okay. I got Jarvis 128 DPI, I got over scanning on. I think that may be a little much. That'd probably be okay. The speed, I'm guessing I'm gonna leave it alone. That looks okay, I suppose. Let me preview it. Turn off transversal, shade according to power. It looks, it always looks a little darker. When you zoom in, you can tell. So, I think I'm okay with that. So, here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna cut this thing out when we're done. So, I'm gonna make a rectangle that snaps to the picture. But, I don't just like the square edges. So, um, we're not going to output that, but we are going to do an offset. And now that will give us a five millimeter margin all the way around it with nice rounded edges. And our line settings, I think are right. Let's go to the library. I've got poplar in here, four millimeter cut, assigned to layer. It's got power 10. I mean, power 100 at speed 10, but I kind of like five better. I think I'm gonna fix that. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Anyway, um, okay, so that looks good. Let's take a look at the preview. And it looks like it wants to output all of that line because that's an offset. don't output the line I don't get the offset is that the way that works or there we go we'll change that layer now we can output that one ha now now looking at the preview we just need to make sure that our line is cut at last engraving the picture and then it's doing the line then it's cutting it out so we're good all right so I'm gonna start the exhaust in the air check the temperature check the I check the focus it's got a little bit of a bow in it that could make a little difference but and we're at 20 degrees chillers on so let's send it over and see what happens.
Not terrible. I want to get to uh, where I know all of the different ones, the uh, dithering methods and all that uh, pretty intimately. Tell you what, not terrible. Could be a little darker. All right, folks, until next time, Tech Bravo coming to you from the shed quarters. And I'm out.